Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Red Bull Debris and so we are at the start of the new season. We have played a few games already, that's four games in total. We are second in the league, which isn't perfect, um, but I will talk you through kind of the transfers, what we've got onto so far, and of course, the Champions League draw. So, the first thing I will show you is the transfers we've made. So, transfers in and out. So, outgoing, there hasn't been too many. Uh, Strahija Maxic has left to join Birmingham. He wants to leave. He wanted to move on to bigger things. Apparently, Birmingham's bigger things. 15 million, rising to 21 million. I'll take it. That's fine. Duncan Bryant, who we brought in from Chelsea, uh, sold him for a profit, which is fine. Only 65k, nothing too much. And then we've obviously sent a load of players out on loan to make sure they get enough game time. Now, ins, certainly... Not too many, um, a lot less than what we've spent previously. Uh, the first one is Dan. Lewis is back, um, on loan from Man United. Uh, more of a backup kind of regular starter, so won't play too much, but we'll, we'll get game time um, just to make sure that he's in and around the team, and I thought it would be quite nice to have him back. Um, Corey Sneddon is another one from Ajax, currently out on loan at Nice, uh, Australian centre-half, defensive midfielder. Looks very, very promising. Um, great work rate, bravery. Pretty good physicals. 19 years of age. Can't go wrong there. Uh, next up, we've got Christopher Scully Baldvinson for 500 came from Valor. Uh, again, a striker, attacking midfielder, midfielder sort of player. Um, Looks quite promising. Um, some decent stats in there. Only 17 years of age and Icelandic, which is good. Um, Oleg Novitsky is next. A centre half who looks like he could be brilliant um 18 tackling at 19 um some fantastic pace uh, aggression and bravery is very good determination's 15 i mean it all looks very very promising um and to get him in for only 1.1 million pounds is not bad at all um next up is nicholas from gremio uh and another brazilian as we do we like to bring in the brazilians uh 18 years old uh, a striker or a winger uh, that can cut in on the right hand side very very good good pacey um looks very promising especially at 18, lots of time to improve. And then Gleason Wilson uh, is kind of the next one, a bit older than normal, 21 years of age, I say older, he's not exactly old or anything, but um, in from Corinthians, looks very good, very, very well-rounded. He'll certainly be playing in that kind of midfield role, but he can also play on the right-hand side if we need him to. But I think the kind of midfield, deep-lying playmaker role, uh, maybe ball-winning midfielder is probably the kind of roles we'll look into to play for him. Um... Next up, I will show you kind of how we've performed so far in the league. So we did lose our first game, 2-1. Um, it was a game that we should have won. Uh, you can see there, we had 2.59 XG, uh, 5 shots on target, 18 shots in total, and we lost 2-1. Both of their shots went in. I was fuming. I can't, yeah, basically... I didn't know really what happened. Um, we then went on to beat Kisvada, MTK, and uh, Mezikovest. Uh, so, back in form, back on it. As you can see, we haven't had to play a qualifying round for the Champions League. The reason for that is because obviously our league has got to a stage where they rank us high enough to get us straight into the group stage. So, what that means today, we will be doing the Champions League group stage draw. And we will also look to do one of the Champions League games. So it may be a case that I'll jump a few in, uh, get partway through that, play one of the games, and then we'll jump ahead and maybe play the last two. Something like that, depending on kind of where we stand with things. So, um, But we've got to see who we'll be facing. So let's view this draw. You can see down here, uh, it looks like we will be in... Oh, wow, we're third seed. Were we third seed last year? I don't think we were. So we've crept out of fourth seed into third seed, which is very nice. I guess that's because we qualified instantly. So let's take a look at the team. So as we go through some big, big names in there. Um, next up, some oh, some of these teams is just ridiculous. I I mean, they're all tough groups, aren't they? Uh, maybe the best group we could be in is the Porto Borussia Dortmund one. Maybe Galatasaray Man City. Otherwise, I probably don't want to be in any of the other ones. Uh, Napoli in Group A. Group B is Lille. This could be any of us. CSK Moscow in C. Copenhagen in D. Club Bruges in E. F is Schalk. So we could end up... Uh, so we've got one of the Spanish giants, that's for sure. Uh, well, we're playing a Spanish and a German team. 
and it's going to be Bayern and Real Madrid, which is absolutely fantastic. That's what I want. I've always wanted to have um have games against them because they're always the easiest teams to play, and we've got Pauk as well. Um, wow. Okay, so this could be a challenge. Um. But we'll have to see how it goes. Like I said before in the last episode, we have to make sure we get through the group stage in the next five years uh, in the Champions League. If we don't, save is over. If we do, we've got another five years to try and win it or a European competition. So a minimum of five years, maximum of ten. Let's see how we do. Um, we will jump ahead and take a look at kind of what order we'll be playing each of the teams. Uh Tough group absolutely is a tough group. It's ridiculous how tough that group is. Um, Okie doke then. So I think what we will do is we'll jump ahead to maybe this Palk game here uh, and then look to play the Bayern and Real Madrid game. Just depends on how we're performing in that uh, as to kind of how late on we might even come back. But you will get to see a game in the episode. It'll just be one of the Champions League group stages. Um, but we'll see in just one second. And we're back. Here we are then. So, um, as you know, we have played Bayern, Real Madrid and Pauk already in the group stage. You just saw us draw them and we've already shot through half the group stage. Uh, we lost to Bayern 2-0 and Real Madrid 3-1. Not really surprising, but we did beat Pauk 3-0. Now, you can also see that we lost to Frank Veros and drew to Ferrovar and Dunwaj Veros. Um, as well in that little period, which was not good at all. Uh, we have picked things up though since then, and we are coming into the Pout game with a bit of form behind us now. Um, the reason for that change is because we've changed the formation up. So, we are going for a 4-3-2-1. Well, it starts off as a 4-3-1-2, uh, with the right-hand side, whoever's on this right-hand side. Normally, it would be Bautista. Um coming inside and supporting kind of the striker, Cristiano or whoever's in that attacking playmaker role, um, being that player in there to kind of dictate tempo. And then the Mazala, the Chow often, or um, Soboslai uh, drifting out wide as well to kind of also be able to create that width if needed. And then obviously Neves and Cortez will be bombing down left and right hand side. It's a Gagan press, it's very pressing, it's very high intensity, which we've been playing all the time. That's a very Red Bull way of playing. Um, and like I say, we have got Pauk um, in this game. Um, as you saw a moment ago, uh, it is a case that we will need to do well against them to have any chance of going through. Uh, if we win, there's a chance we can still get in ahead of Real Madrid. Otherwise, it might be the Europa League for us this season. Um, and it will be one season down, not being able to quite make it to the knockouts of the Champions League. Now, um, Brenner is unregistered. I'm also looking to sell him, get him off the books, move him on. I, he's 30 years old. He's still a good player, but he just hasn't performed for us as well as I'd hoped. Um, I mean, the first season, very good. 16 goals, 19 appearances, not bad. And he, But he dropped off so dramatically in the next season. And kind of the team he's got here uh, and, and the opportunities he's given, he doesn't make the most of them. So he will be, look, I'll be looking to try and ship him on, especially in the ja January if possible. But um, you've seen the team there. We've got Puskas in goal, Cortez, Vinicius, who wanted to leave earlier on in the season, but we have managed to persuade him to stay. Alacron, uh, Neves as well at the back. Amado, Wilson and Fachau in the mid centre of midfield and then just in front of them is Cristiano Neil Doe cutting in from the right hand side and then Nicholas up top on his own um, we are training De La Fuente to also be able to play in that attacking midfield role so he can obviously get some game time in there uh, otherwise that's very much how we're going to sit with today's game I'm feeling positive I feel like we should be able to get something from this game um, I think third in the group is certainly something oh, we can see that they've got Ainsley Maitland Niles in there. Um, certainly something that's doable for us in the group. Um, certainly. Uh, and Soteldo. Soteldo is quite a nice little player. I would always advise getting him in for a kind of mid table Premier League side, something like that. That will really boost your kind of options there. But we are on a good run of form now. We've kind of got back into the rhythm of things after a bit of a dodgy start, which I was a little worried about. Um, but we're back in on it. We've, we've, we're back on, on the right track and hopefully we keep this going for the rest of the games. Here we are, first minute in, and we have already got a throw-in up in their half. Nildo there into Cortez, who's going to look to get that ball across. He's done very well. Cristiano, 
a lovely little finish, a lovely little tuck around that corner. We worked that very, very well indeed. Uh, and it's 1-0 already. And it's another one on that same side again. It looks like we might be getting a bit more joy down that right-hand side. But it's Nildo now. Uh, plays into Vichau. Into Nicolas. Neves. Nicolas again. He's on the edge. Looks through to Cristiano. Can he get a second of the game? It's well won there. But Vichau is able to smash it off the bar. I mean, quite the effort. Uh, but they do get it clear. And now they have got it on this right-hand side. Uh, with Maitland-Niles throwing it into Helton. Uh, I mean, what a start to the game. Uh, five minutes in and we've already scored and hit the bar. Um, not a bad start at all. But it looks like we're hunting that ball down again. We're, we're pressing hard. Uh, can we get a win there? Cortez does well to nod that forward to Nildo. Who's now going to cut inside. That's what he does. The inverted winger roll. Vichau uh, bombing forward as well. Cristiano now. Um, can he work a bit of space to either get a short way or play a pass? Neves comes right inside. Might be quite nice to have him a bit more wider because we, we're very narrow at the moment with a lot of players in there. But Amado's done well. Not quite able to get that shot on target though. All right, Nildo's driving forward now. Uh, cut right inside from that in his own heart. I mean, what that is woeful effort. What even? What even is that? I don't even. This. He wasn't even standing in the right position to really get a shot away there, was he? Um, especially on his left foot. I mean, the throw-in's poor, and they have got it there. It is cleared, but it looks like Nevis should be able to get that without any real trouble. Uh, looks to go down the line now. He has got support inside if he needs it, uh, but does go alone. Crosses it. A, wait, is that it's not? Is that still cast as a cross? I guess it would be. Neves. I mean, okay. I'll, we'll take it. Uh, <laughs> it's an own goal by Mark, uh, Mark Rocker. Um, created solely by the looks of things by Neves. <laughs> um, <laughs> bit lucky, I'd say. Uh, Neves plays it across to Amado, who then plays it back to Neves, who shoots on his left foot. I'm not sure that was even going in, but Mark Rocker does divert it into the bottom left-hand corner. Keeper's got no chance in no man's land, and it is 2-0. Camardos into Cristiano, who looks through to Nildo. Can he quite get there? He manages to get a bit of luck through. Does knock it through to Nicholas, who does then finally put it away. That is the press and intensity. We managed to win that ball from them um, playing it backwards, having to go for that long ball. Uh, Vincentius won that header, nodded it down, and instantly we were able to get forward a touch inside to Cristiano from Amado Nildo did well to press still even though he wasn't quite going to get there and got the luck needed to find Nicholas making it 3-0 in 25 minutes a very very good start to the game Cristiano's ball in is headed clear but Nicholas is on it once again it's a weird name for Brazilian Nicholas but um, Vinicius on this right hand side crosses it over to Cristiano who again may look to go inside once more Alacron uh, the center half really getting involved in this play further forward up the pitch. Uh, out wide to Alacon then again. Into Amado. We're keeping the ball, waiting for that moment. Alacon's made that bursting run down the left-hand side. Can he get a ball into the box? He does play it back to Cristiano instead, uh, who may again play it across. Nildo back to Amado, whose shot's blocked, but Gleason Wilson's there to get to Amado. Another effort. It's rattled off the bar. Who was that by? I don't even know. I can't even tell who that was. I think it might have been um, Nildo, maybe? Um, but, I mean, smashing effort so far. Amado has managed to knock it out wide to Neves. And now can he get that ball in? He plays it back to Vichau, who does get it across. Cristiano's there. And there's a fourth. We've packed out that box. We've got the opportunity to get that ball across. And it's 4-0. Bruno Gomez whips it in. Cleared by Vinicius, though. And is this another chance for us going forward? Looks like Abraham's able to cut that out. But Nildo's even intercepted that. Will he look to play Nicholas through? He plays it through to Cristiano, though. We have got quite an advantage over on this left-hand side. But Cristiano goes alone, looking for that hat-trick. Not quite able to get it in the first half by the looks of things. I think what we'll do is just bring on Sob's life for Vichal uh, in that centre midfield Mazala position. Uh, just because he's on a booking. No point risking it. We're 4-0 up. It's very, very comfortable at this stage. Doesn't look really like they're going to be in any trouble in getting back into the game uh, a poor cross by Subazai really to go to the back post headed clear comfortably and Nevis is now going to get to that ball um, 
driving down this left-hand side again using that athletic ability he has at such a young age. Inside to Wilson, it is cut out by Jensen though, and they are able to now counter-attack. Are they going to be able to create an opportunity to get their first shot on target of the game? That is the real question we are all asking here. Uh, looks like it may be coming. It's crossed in. Vinicius is does misjudge it, and they get a goal. <laughs> But it looks like it's offside. So, I mean, that's technically not even a shot on target for them. I mean, we I think we might have got a bit lucky there if it is an offside. If it is called offside purely because I'm not sure Vinicius was... I mean, Vinicius had made a complete mess of that. Judge, misjudged that cross completely. And um, it, we could have been in real trouble. I, it, we're lucky he's offside because, I mean, I don't know where he's going, but... We got away with one. Clayton Wilson looks to cross it in. Headed clear by Longstaff. Is that one of the Longstaffs from Newcastle? Uh, Swindersky into Jensen again. They will be looking to counter, but we have got plenty of bodies back now, um, which I'm quite comfortable with. But a ball straight over the top. Puskas does well to get forward there and, and clear that and cut it out before any trouble arises. And we are now going forward ourselves. Cristiano through to Nicholas. Can he get one in? He does. I mean, it's all started from Puskas' fantastic um, anticipation of that ball coming over the top and getting there before the striker, um, clearing it forward. And we were able to get that ball down and, and create something of our own. Headed, hoofed clear. Wilson's able to knock it down to Soberslay. Cristiano drives forward, plays it through to Nicholas, who's calm and collected. Pokes it into the bottom right-hand corner. We're coming forward again. Cristiano looks through to Nildo. It's not cut out. <laughs> and there's another one. Nildo's able to get through this time. Uh, it was a slide in to try and cut that ball out. It wasn't quite able to do that by the defender. And Nildo managed to latch on to the loose ball poking it home. Uh, the ball comes up. Cristiano does very, very well in that mid centre mid attacking midfield role. Plays it through to Nildo. Cohen's not able to cut that out fully uh, and, and he is able to latch on to the end of that pass and poking it home. I'm not sure if that will be an assist for Cristiano, but um, certainly a very good pass uh, to, to make something happen. He does like to do that, get that ball down drive at the defence and force kind of those passes. And that's kind of one of the good things about the uh, inverted winger being out here is that they can cut inside, have a more of a diagonal run, uh, which can cause issues like that rather than a straightforward um, run in front or having to come out wide for it. So it's, it's a nice having them as a starting position out that wide. Uh, it has certainly created a few chances for us. But um, Nildo's done well in Amado. They've worked together to really press and harass that uh player for Pauk, I think it was Soltado, but it's into Subberslay, who fires from the edge of the box, and that's another one, that's made it 7-0 away from home, and we've still got half an hour to play, uh, we are running riot in this game, I think it might be time we bring on a couple of subs, just to kind of mix things up a bit. Alright, so Eminem has come on for Cortez, and Sandri on as well uh, for Amado, so we've got some fresh legs on the pitch, Get a bit more of a run around. Uh, still 20 minutes to go, so plenty of time for them to get involved in the game. Maybe even get on the score sheet as well, um, considering how many we've already put away. Uh, Sandri does well there as well to win that ball. Eminem now coming on this right-hand side into Sandri. Uh, looks inside once more to Cristiano, who over, for the overlap to Eminem, inside to Nildo, who they both influenced the game already. Not quite able to get that shot away, but Eminem's there. Plays it back across to Nildo who fires it in on his right foot. Eminem, come, Eminem and Sandri have done very well there. They've come onto the pitch, instantly got involved in the game. Eminem getting the assist, laying it off to Nildo, who fires it in with his right foot, his weaker right foot. Um, and, and we get a goal again. That's 8-0. I mean, it's quite phenomenal, really. We can beat teams like this 8-0, but we can't seem to um, quite perform against the likes of Real Madrid and Barcelona, which is a shame, really. Uh, it's that disparity in between. But... I think if we do get into Europa League, it could be it could be every opportunity for us to to really finally win a European title. But we'll have to see how that goes. Neves, though, is coming forward again. Uh, it is cleared by Pauk, and they do come forward, two at the back. But again, Vinicius wins that ball very, very comfortably. Cristiano waits for Eminem's support on that right-hand side and the overlap, and he does get forward very well. Uh, and again, he is getting to that byline, plays it back across, Slobbers lies there, heads it home. Eminem's second assist after coming on. That makes it 9-0. I, It's quite unbelievable, really. I don't know what is going on, but the boys have turned up today and, and thoroughly enjoying themselves. Uh, and it's Slobbers lies second goal, I believe. Um, so he's already performed very, very well 
as well. So it's good to have him in the Champions League side. This is the first season playing there for us, um, having come in halfway through last season, so I didn't get the opportunity. Uh, but it would be nice. it's nice to see him showing the performances that we, we want him to show. Uh, but Nevis coming forward with only a couple of minutes to go now. Um, can we get to double figures? I mean, I'd be impressed if we do, but it looks like we might. It's off the bar. I mean, what a ball in by Sobberslai and, and it's headed smashing cross onto the bar by Nildo. I mean, look at those stats. They had one shot on target the whole game. We had nine, four XG, 34 shots in total. I mean, it's just about taking the chances. and I mean, I think we did today. Uh, but there you have it. It's 9-0 Red Bull Debrecen against Pauk. Um, we've got every chance of still going through uh, as in the second place. Uh, we receive a bit of money for that win, which is very nice. Classy nil, don't get in two goals and an assist. Uh, but we will be coming back for the uh, Bayern and Real Madrid games. So we'll see how we get on with those. Hopefully we'll get through to a knockout round. Whether that is Champions League or Europa, we will see. Uh, but it's all working in our favour at the moment. And I will see you in the next one. Hope you enjoyed. Like, subscribe, and all that good stuff. See you then.